One of the most important features for paid users is the ability to include sources in the build results. Notice that this feature is also available for basic subscribers, but will only work for Android, iOS, and Windows Phone platforms. To build with sources, I just go into Project Properties in the IDE. Make sure you logged in with your paid account using this button here. Then I have the option to include sources in my build. This option slows down the build noticeably, so we suggest you disable it if you don't actually need it. Now I can just send a build as usual. When the build completes on the server, we see this source link. I will download it and expand it to my disk. Notice that to build from iOS sources, you will need a Mac. Here I double click the project file and it launches Xcode. There are two things you need to verify in Xcode. The first is the compiler. If you are using a different compiler version of Xcode than the one in the server, you will need to go into the project settings here and select the default compiler. Next, you need to manually add the resource files from the two resource directories. From the res directory, just add all the entries unless you have native code there, in which case you shouldn't add it again. For the case of the built-in res directory, you should select only the files that don't end with .m and .h. You can only select some of these files as I select in this case. Compilation takes a few minutes, then the native simulator launches. You should be able to place breakpoints within the methods and debug this code. Although it is a little different, all class names and method names are preserved, so you should be able to glean some information. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope you found it useful.